Imagine World War III breaks out and the U.S. government says this. We're in need of a spy to go behind enemy lines. So naturally, we select LeBron James for the job. Well, something like this actually happened during World War II. But instead of LeBron James, it was Lamo Bird. Mo was a professional baseball player back in the 30s. But more importantly, he was a charismatic genius with an unbelievable knack for languages. In fact, when Babe Ruth traveled to Japan to crack some dingers in front of the locals, Mo taught himself Japanese so well that they invited him along just to translate for them. Okay, but how did the end up a spy. Well, sometime later, word got out that the infamous scientist Heisenberg would be delivering a lecture in Europe. And because the US was sus that Germany was close to making a nuke, infiltrating this lecture would be their one chance to confirm this. But whoever they chose for Operation Spy on Heisenberg would have to speak German so well that their true American identity would go completely undetected by the natives. That's where Mo came in. He could already speak German flawlessly and had proven himself once but before in Japan. So the US handpicked Mo for the job and gave him two things. An unalivicide pill that he was ordered to take if things got heated, and a gun with instructions to shoot Heisenberg if he were to even get an inkling of a feeling that the Germans were close to developing a nuke. Mo accepted the fact that this may be his last time in the US, got on the plane, and flew to the lecture. Upon arriving, Mo was again able to blend right in, but Heisenberg mentioned nothing of the nuclear bomb. However, that wasn't good enough for Mo. So after the lecture, he charmed up Heisenberg and somehow ended up accompanying him one-on-one -on -one to an after party, where he continued to blend in with the German crowd and pry for information. It wasn't until he finally walked Heisenberg all the way back to his hotel tell in a last ditch effort to get something out of him did Mo conclude the Germans weren't even kinda close to a bomb. So nobody was shot and the US could breathe a huge sigh of relief. If Mo had slipped up even a little on this mission, he could have easily been caught by the Germans, which would have been a huge setback for the US. However, Mo was just too good. And that's the story of how a professional baseball player became a spy during World War II. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.